guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And this is another Patreon review for your sexy asses. And this one is for Jill Palmer. Thank you, Jill. You're a fucking rad person. And uh, we super are psyched to have be doing this for me, Johnson. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jill, thanks Dude, for recommending just, a movie for his dick. I'm just warning you right now, I can't fucking talk today. So, Cabin by the Lake, starring Bender. We finally understand what happened to him after the Breakfast Club. I'm thinking about going for a scholarship. I really think I give a shit. It's not like a mystery at the very beginning of the movie. He's a serial killer. That's what he is. He's a writer on top of it. And in researching his new book, he kidnaps young girls and wants to throw them in a lake, drown them basically, and then use their reaction as inspiration to write a novel. Uh, much like Michael Jackson did for Beat It. <laughs> no, uh, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the, the story and it's all about unwinding why he's doing what he's doing and then the chase is on in the small shitty town to find out who the killer is and wowzer, where do we go from here? I'm gonna be honest with you, full frontal, it's, it's kind of a shitty movie. <laughs> Show Dick some respect. Let's go. There is a a nod to cinefa uh, cinefilm fanatics uh, where there's a production studio or a prop making studio where they all kind of congregate in this small little uh, mountain town. It reminded me a little bit of the movie Summer School, which is a badass underrated movie. I love Summer School is an awesome friggin' movie. Uh, it reminded me a little bit that the way that they had their, you know, like their props set up and like he would show up and he they would screen his movies and he would make jokes about how shitty his movies were and all this. But yeah, it, it is kind of cool in a sense that well, for one, the coolness of it is Judd Nelson. And you're right, this is a pretty shitty movie. <laughs> Sorry, Jill. But I'm glad a shit to have watched it because I like seeing. Judd Nelson in anything. He was amazing in The Breakfast Club. Uh, it made me want to watch Airheads, which I couldn't find anywhere, by the way. It's weird. You can't find that movie to stream. And he wipes his ass with his own contract. I love this guy. <laughs> but, um... You know, it's, it's cool to see Judd Nelson in anything, and especially playing a serial killer. And the idea behind the movie is pretty fucking fantastic. The idea that someone is is a writer, like a Stephen King type, but actually does this shit to get real-life inspiration. I'm sure it's been done in Well, yeah, before. I mean, there was the Dark Half that came out way before this one, I think in the early 90s, and then a little bit after this, Secret Window came out in 03. A little bit different here because he revels in it, though. Like, he likes... Yeah, he's not, like, trying... He's not, like, got a split personality where he's doing this. Because I, I thought that's kind of what it was going to be like uh, based on the synopsis but then I was like no it's he's a killer like he he likes to kind of like Dexter yeah like maybe if Dexter was a fucking writer and he's cool when he kills people too like the way he does it he he, he creates uh, an actual garden like he'll take these girls out and he'll be he'll talk to him and get calm, laid. <laughs> he'll talk to him in that calm Judd Nelson voice and he's like yeah I just I'm about to uh, you die I'm about I want to see your face and one girl he puts a weight on her and he puts her in the water and it's 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 perfect for a TV movie like they made a TV movie about a, a serial killer and the way that they did it without gore and stuff like that is what he would do was he would he would kill pretty, I don't know if you want to say humanely, but he would, he would put him, this weight on him and he I mean, would drown him in the water yeah. and then he'd pull their head back up. He's like, I just want you to know you're going to die. He, and then he would hold their face and look at him. Like, it was like uh, Billy Madison was like, I don't want you. <laughs> Stay as long as you can. For the love of God, cherish it. Jennifer, why don't you try reading out loud for a minute, okay? How do you feel at this moment? How do you feel? And she's like, ah, and he's like, okay, I got it. How to get burned? How to get burned? And yeah, then he would write it. It's like defiant till the end. Uh. <laughs> but he also he meets with his like his manager and and she's like his uh, his liaison between the director that makes these shitty movies based on his scripts or books <clears throat> and. Um, it's weird, the only place I could find this movie to watch was YouTube, and it was, it was a pretty grainy, shitty version of it, so there's a lot of stuff to, that, that's kind of hard to find, but it's a cool, like, obscure movie. Like, I love the fact that uh, it, it's, it's a made-for-TV movie about a serial killer. That makes it just kind of weird and quirky, and it's a funny movie. Like, it's got weird Judd Nelson comedy all the way through it. And I think that Judd Nelson almost uh, <clears throat> is a caricature of all those, you know, different serial killer types. Like, he's almost having... Not like when we say corny, it is kind of a cheesy thing overall. Maybe that's just because it's got the mid 90s thing going with it. But it's like Judd Nelson knew that it, that's what it was and he embraced it. So he is being cheesy and corny in a lot of those scenes. Like there's a few scenes towards the end anyway, he'll look directly at the camera. Oh, there's one specific scene. He looks directly at the camera and does this like, do you know what's going to happen tonight? I'm going to take your panties off. They're licorice. Like he does weird, like, you know, facial expressions and stuff. And it, Judd Nelson's a good actor. So you know that. 
I think at that point he was like, you know, I look, I know what this movie is. I'm just going to have fun with it. And there we go. I don't think there was an intent really to make it a super serious movie on a level of <clears throat> like Dexter or like I mentioned Dexter or any other kind of hardcore serial killer movie. And I like that about it. I like the fact that it didn't take itself seriously. Yeah, I mean, whatsoever. you could have had like Matchbox 20 playing Push in the background <laughs> and it would make total sense. That's very true. Or like, I'm not crazy. I am just a little unwell. <laughs> and it would have made perfect sense. Like, it just. Again, it's one of those movies that, and I, and I say charming, uh, there's like, there's something about it that's charming. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what it is. It's kind of like trying to figure out, does this Chinese food at MSG? You don't know. Yeah. But it's just that mid-90s touch, man. It's, it's something about the 90s films like this that come out, and you watch it back then, and you, you don't really appreciate it, I guess, for how different it is, how quirky, and then when you get older and everything else that comes out is like a Michael Bay bullshit regurgitation, and you get stuff like this, you're like, okay, you know what, they were actually having fun making a movie. But the strangest thing about it we really haven't mentioned yet is that he, he drowns these girls and he creates, he creates in this lake, which is more of an ocean, he creates this, this these, uh, well no, it's a lake. It's a lake, yeah. In this lake. The movie he, is called Cabin by the Lake. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's like Cabin by the Pacific. <laughs> in, in this lake, he creates a garden of these dead bodies. It's kind of cool because he literally scuba got dives and he goes down every single day to prune his garden. And he prunes like the, the bushes and stuff around these girls. Like if it was a fucked up, imagine if Rob Zombie made this movie. He would go down there just to like smack their titties. I, I mean, yeah, he would. He would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm literally Literally motorboating. Yeah, like it's one of those duty films that you have fun watching. Like you don't know why. Like it's yeah. like on a Sunday afternoon, you have nothing to do in your neighborhood, and you hear a band playing down the street. They're not that good, and they're playing off key. But you're like, I'm drunk, and I'm gonna go have fun. And they're a garage band that's playing Incubus. Yeah. And you're like, you know what? There's it sucks, but <laughs> I met a cool girl named Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no stakes. There's no stakes. Like you're watching a Judd Nelson TV movie. I'm gonna give this movie a, a 5.5. It's above average for me because it's Judd Nelson uh, and it's I like the I like the story. I like the idea of it. I actually think it could be remade if someone wanted to take it seriously. Like, no, we're gonna make this movie pretty depraved and fucked up. It would lose all the charm this movie had. But the underlying theme, I think, is a pretty cool idea. So uh, I give it a 5.5. What's your rating? I'm gonna give it a, a 15 and a half. No, no I'm kidding. I'm gonna give the it. Avengers. I'm gonna give it a 4.0. Um, I enjoyed it. I like Judd Nelson a lot. I think that Judd Nelson had a lot to play with, and he did play with it. He played a lot with himself. <laughs> Judd Nelson does, in fact, not raid Barry Manilow's wardrobe. Eat my shorts. You just bought yourself another Saturday, Mister. <sighs> Crushed. It's hard to it, it's a hard movie to review because it's hard to explain the, the the feel of this movie It's just kind of strange. It's kind of like there and it, it does what it does yeah. And it's like I said it's easy to watch because it's Judd Nelson or whatever But like at one point for instance he goes to these girl one of these girls that's tied up in this little room and 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 she's like I don't want to be here anymore. Stop. So just what? take me home. No, nope. you're talking about someone who's being kidnapped Who's about to be murdered who's probably in fear for their life and you just don't get that sense at all And he's like seriously, uh, we need to wash your clothes. They're disgusting Yeah, you know, for some reason I always thought like when I was watching Judd Nelson move around from the from room to room in the house that he had the cabin I felt like he was working on the Tom Cochran song uh, life is a highway <laughs> Like he just looked like that dude. Thanks Jill for recommending it. Yeah, and that that's that's the best thing about these patreon movies is that this is a movie I never would have heard of probably, would have never watched if it weren't for you. And I'm glad I've seen it, whether we love it or not. I'm glad I've seen it I know about this movie. Just add it to the old movie repertoire in your brain there. And it's a pretty cool movie to have there, which I'm really thankful for you guys. And if, you, uh, if you're wondering how, to, how our Patreon works, we switched it up recently. Click the link below to check out all our tiers. There's some really cool shit you can get. We do a live monthly stream once a month. And today's the day that we're going to pick uh, who's going to do, who's going to pick next week's Patreon review. So, okay. Of everybody in our very top tier, we bundle them all up on this little screen here. I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna pick one of you, and then you get to pick a movie review that you'll see within a week on the channel. So that way you don't have to wait. Now those of you who are already in the tier and have reviews backed up, you're still gonna get those ones that you're waiting for. But from here on out, every single week we're gonna pick one of you, you're gonna get your review within a week or so. I don't wanna say for sure within a week, but very close to that. So let's do that right fucking now, Jay. Mm -hmm. I gotta actually pull it up real quick. I kind of blew my load a little bit. He did really early. That's usual Ooh, for him. Ooh, gooey gumdrops. Also, I was gonna say, Kevin by the Lake does remind me of uh, if it was on Unsolved Mysteries, like a recreation of an actual murder. <laughs> like, doom, bum, 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 bum. like you could hear like the music going in the background. Yeah. Like I could see that. Well, the synopsis should just be followed up with as a soap opera, because that's yeah. what it felt like. Like a, an insane writer kills girls, puts a garden of dead bodies together, and he's doing it all to write his books. 
as a soap opera. Because <laughs> it just does that cheesy, like, soap opera, and like, Hallmark go, feel and, to it. And then we go, days of our lives. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> the best way I could possibly explain this movie to you. But, um, okay, so, picking at random. The, eventually, we want to make this way cooler. I don't know if we're going to have Michael get dressed up and throw a tomahawk at everyone's name on a wall. Or maybe just a I, wheel spinning I, I thing. I thought you were going to say, like, throw a tomahawk at the, the screen. But for that's now, to get the, yeah, I don't want to break. We just got this game. Well, it'd be cool to have, like, a little thing on here where we go, like, you know, Will of uh, Price is Right. Yeah, you, you, the wheel. But I'm not the fucking Facebook guy. I can't make that shit happen. Are you the fa you mean we Mark need a little Zuckerberg? wheel and put everyone's name on it? You know? Yeah, we need to hire Mark Zuckerberg. I'm coding. All right, here we go. There. Michael Nunya. Ah, Michael Nunya. Michael Nunya. You. Have been chosen. You have been selected <laughs> from the highest of honors. <laughs> Meet me at the mountaintop. <laughs> That'll be the next uh, Patreon movie review we there do. We Not for sure because we're, we're we're continuing to do the backlog, but that will be within the next week or so. Just to try to, I think it's a, you get it right. Yeah, you get it. I, know so I don't want to yeah. make it too difficult to explain. But you guys, if you want to join that tier and get on this fun action out here in my pants, what you can do is you can get right now on that that link in that I damn description box in my, my jean jeans and uh, click it and like it and love it a lot. Tim McGraw. Mm -hmm. Travis Street. <laughs> Coming deep. <laughs> Comment below, guys. Let us know. We love your fucking faces. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham up in you. That's right. Always in you. Uh -huh. Never outside of you, in you. And remember the greatest quote of America America runs on Duncan. We watched the movie.